Hey everybody, Josh Cavalier here with Lodestone. Today we're going to be doing interactive video in Captivate 8. Let's get started. We're going to start by making a blank project. Hit create. Once this project is created, we're going to go ahead and save it out. We're going to file save. All right, so let's go ahead and save this out. We're now going to go ahead and add our video. So we'll go to media, video, we'll browse out, and here is Chef Tim, MP4 file. Hit open. Now here's the key. We want to go ahead and include this as a multi-slide synchronized video. This is going to create what we call lockstep video. In other words, as the playback head marches forward, the video goes with it. The other type of video in Captivate is event-based video. This is independent of the playback head. And event-based video is great if you want the user to control the playback of the video in case you need to watch it over and over again. So we have multi-slide synchronized video. We have our video set here. We will be using a progressive download, which will fully cache up that video locally and it's going to be on the stage. We're not going to distribute this video across multiple slides, at least in this case. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and put it on one slide. Let's click OK. All right, so here we have Chef Tim. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup in the background with a few of these elements here. And we'll scale this up slightly to fill the area. Great. So now I need to determine what's going to happen during the video. You can see as I scrub across and view my whole timeline, it is the full video, almost one minute and 20 seconds worth of content here. And in this case, let's say I need to stop the playback head at 10 seconds. And then I want the user to uh, perform a task read some information, and then continue the video. Well, we need to go ahead and stop the video, stop the movie, and we're going to be doing that with a button here today. So I'm going to go ahead and put up just a little bit of information here. And we're going to start this at 10 seconds right in here. So let's say at 10 seconds, I want to incorporate a shape. Maybe there is some uh, information in here. Remember, it's all about the customer, right? You can see that that shape is starting at 10 seconds, I'm now going to insert my button. So let's go to interactions and select button. And we'll change the label on that button to continue. And here's the key for this button. I want the button when it's enabled to go ahead and to continue down the timeline. So I'm going into the actions area on success when the button is pressed, and I want to continue down the timeline. We also need to go ahead and take a look at when the playback head is going to pause there at 10. Notice the button. There's the pause point on the button. I'm going to need to go ahead and slide this down. And also, move the start of the button over. So maybe it's about like a half second in. Right before our pause, I'll move the pause point over just by clicking on the pause separator line. And then also move our content over like this. So the playback head is going to march forward. Go back to the timeline. It's going to march forward. And pause right there. 
The video will pause because it is lockstep with the timeline. The user will consume the information and then hit continue, and then we'll move down the timeline. Now, on the other side of the pause, we need to go ahead and make sure that we remove the content quickly, just like so. And cosmetically, we can have this content fade in and fade out. But for right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the video and watch it hopefully stop at 10 seconds. The top level, if you will. The next level that I... All right, let's do that one more time. There we go. All right, so I'm actually going to be doing a full preview of the slide. Okay, so from the, the ownership piece, we are responsible for the day-to-day -day operations and event planning, community outreach. Look at that. Isn't that great? So now by including a button with the pause point, the video has stopped, and I can't click on the background. Nothing's happening here. I can go ahead and click continue. Uh, so that's sort of the top and level, the video picks back The up next again. level that I... Excellent. So that's just a quick little lesson on how to create interactive video here in Captivate 8.